In ArcGIS Pro, you can use the Huff Model Calibration Geoprocessing tool to calculate distance and attractiveness variables for use in the Huff Model. Let's walk through the tool to learn more. On the map, I have a proposed location as well as an existing network of franchise locations. I also have customer location data representing aggregated visits per store. We'll use this later for our attractiveness variable. Automatically calibrating exponents for distance and attractiveness values based on input data improves precision and removes manual guesswork. Huff Model Calibration uses the input locations as well as a sales potential value, shown here as population in census block groups, to generate the exponents. After loading my inputs and running the tool, I can view the item in catalog. Here you can see the attractiveness exponent and the distance exponent. The attractiveness value of 0.22 represents a positive impact stores have on their customers. The distance exponent is often a negative value, as the distance or increased travel can negatively impact a purchase. The closer the number is to the default negative 1.5, the more willing a customer is to travel farther to make that purchase. This example of negative 6 could indicate customers greatly prefer the convenience of shopping nearby. Next, I can right-click and select Run Huff Model to directly feed the calibrated exponents into the Huff Model itself. After setting my inputs and reviewing these exponents, I run the analysis. The output is added to the map showing areas of high to low probability for customers at the candidate location. These dark red to orange block groups could act as a potential trade area. The calibration gives more confidence by using the input data instead of manually iterating through exponent value scenarios. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.